Jesus. Hello, party people. Get my bougie water out of the background. Um, so I didn't realize when I was filming this camper tour, I didn't do an intro, so hello. passenger seat of the dolphin um it's very spacious it's got these fun bead chair covers not much to say about what's up here it's all original upholstery and original carpeting in the entire fucking thing the whole thing it's carpeted as you will see this is what the dash looks like it's manual yeah Beautiful and brown. So first I'll show you guys what is on the outside. So by the right passenger door, there's this place for the water. This is the gas and that's 12 gallons, hold 12 gallons. This is the vent that's behind the refrigerator. And if you wanna change the refrigerator to be using gas instead of electricity, then you have to take this whole thing off and light the light. You know and then this is a little light that had like a plastic covering that is missing um show you the door when we go inside but um this is the back this is like where the propane is i guess i'll show the propane tank left side some more fun gadgets so this is where the electricity thingy is and what's cute is they carpeted and wallpapered this little tiny cubby cozy thing this is where you put the hose in if you want to like attach your water to the water at a campsite um which is cool and then under that right under that is um this little thing is where you put in the hose It'll start draining the gray water immediately and then um, if you open it and then this, you pull this out and it changes to be draining the black water, dark water, whatever the fuck it's called. Okay, and then there's this thingy. How do you open this? This is where you light the hot water. This little thingy holds all the hoses that we have um, and for people that have generators, it's also good to keep generators in there, I guess. This is the front door. This is a ding dong. And that is basically the outside. So we'll head on in and I'll talk about the shit that's in there. Oh, this is the lovely screen door, which I don't really understand. I guess for like making it easier to pass things to each other. Uh oh. Jesus. Well, we gotta be careful with that one. So that's the screen door. And you open it up and you come into the kitchen area. Okay, I had to wrestle with the door a little bit, but we're inside. That's so what it looks like from the inside. It's like a nice cloudy glass. So this is the kitchen area. There's a nice little fire extinguisher. Pretty much everything is original except for this wallpaper that we just put in. Um, this is a little stove, which is gas. Um, there's three little drawers here. And those just have, right now, Hershey's and a lighter and looks like tools and stuff. And scissors. And then up here, this little thingy i guess used to be like a way to test the quality of stuff like this if you turn it to these things it would tell you it would light up and say like good fair bad quality for the water and such um these are just little storage cabinets which are pretty big and nice this is the original clock which needs a new battery dishes and stuff little light all the 
all the lights work. Um, this fan, I don't know if the light works. Nope, the fan works. It works great. Uh-oh, I thought I couldn't turn it off. Okay, and then this is the teeny little sink. Uh, just a teeny little sink. Two, actually there's kind of a lot of storage. There's these two big hunka hunkas and then these two on the bottom. And then an outlet. Oh, I didn't show this, but when you want to turn on the water pump, that's where you turn it on. That's the only thing on this that works. Apparently my video looked like shit, so my sister wants to take over. This is our little stove oven. What are these called? Toaster oven, or toaster oven, which I think is too big and should be taken out of here. This is the fridge, Dometic, made in Sweden. It's the original fridge. Um, clearly, I thought I'd open on that side. <laughs> uh, right now we have a whole lot of stuff. Just the essentials. Um, it's pretty big though. Also, you can switch it. Oh fuck, I'm wearing shoes in here. This is like the number one rule. <laughs> so, here is where you um, can switch it from being like under gas operation uh -huh. to electric. And um, so all the time it's on electric, so it's cool right now. But if you wanted to switch it to gas, if you were like off grid or something, then you'd have to... <laughs> At the same time, you... Hello? So yeah, this can be used on gas or electricity. Um, this is storage, which right now is being super blocked by this giant toaster oven. Um, over here to the right of the kitchen. Oh shit, I guess I should talk about this. This is um, the AC unit, which works, and this can run on electricity or propane as well. Needs a new filter. This is the bathroom. Get some fucking <gasps> glamour shots of that. Wow. It's pretty beautiful. Wow. <laughs> the water works. The light works. It's basically a spa. Over here. Over here. Who the f do you think you are? Um, there's this little wardrobe, which right now is being used as like a linen closet, which I don't agree with. Then there's these drawers. Um, which you, there's there's things in there, and then there's some cards in here. Um, then these down here. One of them was a furnace, and we no longer use a furnace. The last owner stopped using a furnace as well. So. For heat and stuff, all we have right now is this little space heater, and then we have a bigger one if it's actually cold. Here is the living room. Um, this is a little magazine rack, cutie cute. These are two speakers that the last owner put in. Um, one of them works and one does not. I don't remember which one. All of these little lights are original and they all work and they get very warm. So they also add this little heaters. Um, yeah, everything, like all of the upholstery on the chairs is original and the carpet, obviously. Um, there's a quilt over this couch, but it's the same upholstery as the chairs. It's just a lot of browns. This was the little furnace thermostat thingy that we don't use. These are nice little storage containers, just the whole thing is open up here. Um, lots of lights, like a fuck ton. Um, this drawer down here below this seat is not usable. It doesn't do anything, it doesn't slide out, it's just decorative. These are the same as the other side. All of the windows are all original. Some of them are pretty screwy. This one is completely bent and it needs to be replaced. There's like a big gap in the glass that you can see. 
that we need to replace just probably the whole thing before weather happens. These chairs, I guess, supposedly you can take them off and then change some lever setting underneath so that they can swivel, but right now they're stationary. Um, this tabletop is not original. So in order to make this into a twin size bed, I think it's a twin size, you take off all these goodies and then that's gonna fall. And then move these pillows. the driver is this little cute little bedroom so underneath is just like literally pieces of the same upholstery and if you're driving and you don't want this up here for some reason and you want like more head space you can just take this whole piece off which is neat i think it's a queen size bed um so up here we have all these little curtains which my mom made. This is a really nice window which like protrudes out and it's freaking hot. This is a little vent thing that you can open up when it's nice and it adds some nice air flow. So yeah, windows on every side. All the windows work and open and have screens, lights, so you can have just the screen open. All these little reading lights work, which are pretty cute. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much the whole space up here. And then with these curtains, these can be moved so that you can't see if you're driving or whatever. You can have people hanging out back here and be kind of separated. I don't know. Wait, didn't I actually have a drink? Like a real one? So in 1984, the Dolphin Camper came in four different styles. The Den, Rear Dinette, um, 600 Pool Bath, and 700 Rear Bedroom. And what we have is the 300 Den. So the specifications of the 1984 dent from the original brochure. The 300 standard has a shower room with flush toilet and wash basin, dual waste holding tanks, large stainless steel sink, large <laughs> four roof vents, four. There's one in the bathroom, there's one there. there's Oh, one in the here. bathroom, true. Okay. Yeah. Bathroom here, there. A deluxe swivel barrel chair and snack table set, a dining room table, and large trunk storage. They revolutionized motorhome, shape, uh -huh. blah, 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 Toyota, and actually four, that. Basically, all you need to know. Sadie needs to get the fuck out. Well, I was Can you thinking, see me? There's no way. You can see your neck. What's up, gamers? Get a message here. People cars in the shot. Speed, speed, speed. Oh no, heavy. The coins are coming out. Speed, 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 speed. I give up. What monster jumps higher than a house? All monsters. Houses don't jump. Mm -hmm. 